A disabled couple feels trapped in their home after their HOA makes them take down their handicap ramp. It is a situation that has residents in the Mount Juliet Cedar Creek's Commons neighborhood outraged. News 2's Stephanie Langston spoke with the couple and their neighbors. It's just hard to move. It's a daily struggle for Nancy Hurst. I have very bad rheumatoid arthritis. Her wheelchair. So I have a, a motorized wheelchair. And her husband, Lyle. And he takes good care of me. Keys to her life. He was just out there making my lunch. Lyle may not recall, but Nancy will be quick to tell you they've been married for 50 years. But well, she's worth it. Lyle, a retired Vietnam veteran. Retired Vietnam veteran with the Army Commendation Medal. But Lyle struggles himself getting around. He has balance problems, and he's fallen a number of times. And it was a recent fall that drew attention to the couple's handicap ramp. Lyle tripped on the ramp, and when the policeman came to help him up, because I can't get him up, he saw that the wheelchair ramp was in disrepair. The next week, the Mount Juliet Police Department's nonprofit youth program funded and organized efforts to build the Hearst a new ramp. There, it was beautiful. But a letter from Century Management on behalf of the HOA soon followed, saying the ramp was installed without permission and that it was blocking the sidewalk and a parking spot. A couple points out that the new ramp didn't take up much more space than the old one, a ramp they had built eight years ago without approval and never had any issues. Two months later, a follow-up letter was sent to the Hearst threatening potential legal steps, so Lyle and Nancy had the new ramp removed, leaving the Hearst feeling violated and bullied. I'm really angry because I got a, a bit of a disability myself, and it's hard for us to get out to shop. It's set up for, for disaster the way it is right now. The next time out the door could be the time. Neighbors are now working to help the couple outraged over the actions of the HOA. They have no heart. They should have sent somebody out here to talk to them, to realize the situation. I mean, I, I don't understand how somebody can be that cruel. And I know business is business, but that's ridiculous, and it affected nobody except Lyle and Nancy. Now, neighbors have stepped up and offered help, like picking up groceries and medication for Nancy and Lyle, but they want to see the HOA put the ramp back up. I did speak to an employee of Century Management who says the board is sensitive to the situation and that they did speak, seek input from the association's attorney. Haley.